All right, YouTube, today is the day that I do the carpet in my 69 charger. Some things to do first, so let's get it going. All right, there's my head unit. And there is my mess of wires. Going from the trunk all the way across. And now it's time to clean those wires up. All right, wires are all cleaned up taped down, out of the way, both sides of the tunnel, nicely done. Ready for carpet. All right, so now that the wires are run, I've got the carpet laid out again where I want it. The back, the front goes up under the dash a bit. Now it's time to find seatbelt holes and uh, cut it around my seat brackets that I built. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set the camera up and, uh, we'll start cutting and locating and putting it all in. All right. I have moved the front carpet out of the way. I am going to start with the rear carpet and, uh, passenger side, start locating my, um, seatbelt holes and, uh, cutting for the, uh, the seat brackets. You can see the front of them there. Rear ones are hidden behind here, so gotta find them and uh, cut a little spot for my bolts to go through. So the first thing I did, found where my hole is, and I popped a screwdriver through it just to keep uh, a pilot hole and to keep it in place. Got a bit of spray foam on the tunnel here, and uh, now that'll keep that from moving around too far. And uh, locate my bracket for my seat. I'm going to put a little slip behind it. Sure. seat for the bracket and cut a bit of that jute out of the way so it doesn't uh, move where my bracket's going to be mounted to or where my seat's going to be mounted into the bracket you can see there hopefully got uh, the hole all right Now I am going to leave the flap there. I'm not going to remove it, but I'm going to keep it there so it'll at least hide where the uh, the bracket is bolted into the body, but it's not going to have this. And I know where it is that way. From there, I'm going to add, once I have this melted out, which I'll show you in a minute, um, I'm gonna put some spray adhesive just to keep this nice and straight and in place. And uh, yeah, I'll be back once the once once I spray that and it tacks up. All right, starting to get a little tacky. If you follow my builds, you know I really like this spray adhesive. Uh, keeps uh, everything in place. So lay that out, make sure it's tight. I gotta cut 
got this one still. Starts here. I guess it wasn't tacky enough yet. <clears throat> it's starting to stick now. Right, yeah, it's starting to stick. All right, now where this pilot hole is, get yourself a soldering pen. I like the pointy little nib, helps guide it in a little better. And uh, yeah, find that hole and the heat will melt the carpet so it won't fray over time. Just work your way around, melt the hole to the size of it. Doesn't smell very nice. But now that is a proper hole in the location I need it, and it won't fray. From there, I'll take a bolt that's gonna go in there and it'll just rest itself there for now so I know where it is and find the next hole. Now I know it's here. There. There we go. Move it around, get that nice and melted. And I'm gonna get my screwdriver if I can find that again. Where do I keep losing everything? There we go. Get that in the hole until I come back with that bolt. All right, and for the sides, I got the original seatbelt bolt. And there you go. Passenger side's installed. This will be cut, this extra flap here. That'll be cut when I'm ready to put the, uh, the door sills on and finalize everything. A little bit of spray adhesive still to go on there. But for now, this side is done. Make sure it stays. And that's it. All right, on to the driver's side. All right, for the driver's side, same thing, spray adhesive. Put it on nice and thick.
All right, so I'm gonna start with just the tunnel. That way I can find that seatbelt hole or the bolt hole. And then from there, I'll move on to the rest of it, cutting out my brackets and the other uh, seatbelt bolt hole. So once this is tacked up, I'll be back and we'll continue. All right, so this is tacked up a bit. Bring this down. And I'm gonna find that, that hole again. Should be right here. There we go. Pull this tight. Okay, soldering pen. We're gonna melt that carpet together. this to show you so there's your seat belt hole the bolt hole bolt for now just to kind of keep it in there all right once again fold this down over it stretch it and flatten it all into place And there's one of my brackets. So location found. I'm um, not going to be doing a whole lot with them, just uh, keeping the flap open. See, will they be mounted to it like that? And that's about it. hole right here and Seat belt bolt through the hole. No. Different one, maybe. There we go. No. There we go. Okay. So that'll hold it all in place. And there's the rear part of the carpet installed. Not the greatest light, but that's installed. Rear is done. All right, so we're back. 
Going to do the front carpet now, same as before, lay it out, make sure it's flat and fits where you want it. Um, make sure that it is far enough back that it covers the rear carpet, far enough forward that it goes up high enough on your uh, firewall. And uh, I'm thinking that right here is where I want it. So I'm going to throw down some more spray adhesive and uh, Relay it and keep it nice and straight, and that way it won't move. So I'll be back again once I spray it and it's tacked up.
All right. So now, passenger side's done. Do the same thing to the driver's side. Gonna get some adhesive on there and glue that down and then maybe start trimming it up. All right, so that is all done. Front's in, the back is in. I got some cleanup to do. Uh, I've decided that I am actually going to cut it all the way around the little brackets that I made for my seats. And I'm gonna spray those black so they don't show up. Um, maybe a little bit of padding under there, but nothing as thick as the carpet. Uh, that way I make sure that it's sitting um, where the actual mounting holes are for the bolts. Um, gonna do the door sills. There is the driver's side. You see what I'm working with? It's not the nicest condition. Um, I did say that I am going to chemically strip it because it has been painted. Um, but being the beginning of December, I feel that it would probably be best to put it in now. It is, what, four screws that I can take it back off in the spring and strip it then, finish it up then, and put it back in. So I'm gonna cut the carpet, I'm gonna get it to fit on the sill and put those uh, plates on and then keep going. So set the camera up inside and uh, let's have a go at it.
Nineteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Nine. Oh. Nineteen. All right. Great little kit. Has all the screws for the interior. Moldings all around. Soon the long ones go up in here. Your shape. All right. Now, got my kick panel to put in here. Now, before I do that, I'm going to finish hooking up speaker wire to the end plugs. All right, I'll be back for that.
got it. About time. All right, good. Whew. That took a lot out of me. All right, now to get the sill on. All right, driver's side is done. So driver's side is done. I got the seat in. I'm about to put the bolts in and uh, then I'll move on to the uh, passenger side. All right, so I saved you all the boredom of watching me do the passenger side. It's the exact same as the driver's side. Uh, trimmed the carpet, put the pillade in, and I put the seat in nice and solid. You can see I'm sitting in the driver's seat. Passenger seat, everything's done. Carpet, everything. I got to clean up my mess and uh, finish putting in the speaker again. Uh, I'm going to have to modify that. Uh, put a little... Uh, I don't know, a revealed edge around the speaker, build it out a bit. It's hitting the body frame behind it. Uh, and this side here, I'm gonna have to move the uh, emergency brake. Again, it's hitting the speaker and uh, that'll be another time. Anyways, that is all for now. That's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful and uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you again in another video.